Over the past few years, bagworms have become an increasing problem in Lancaster County, Nebraska. Bagworms can severely defoliate and kill evergreens like spruce, junipers, eastern red cedars, and arborvitae. Bagworms may also feed on ornamental shrubs like this viburnum, fruit trees, shade and ornamental trees, perennial flowers, and small fruit plants like raspberries. Since deciduous plants grow new leaves every year, the defoliation caused by the feeding usually does not kill them. But bagworms can quickly kill evergreens. It's important to inspect your landscape for bagworms. Mature bagworms are small, only one to two inches long. The bags are covered with dead material and tightly attached to twigs. The camouflaged bags can be hard to see on host plants. Bagworm eggs hatch in May and early June. The tiny bagworm larvae can be hard to see. After hatching, the tiny larvae are often caught by the wind on a strain of silk and balloon to nearby plants. Once a host plant is found, the tiny larva begins to form a new bag around its body. The bagworm larva is a brown or tan caterpillar with black markings. The larva remains in its protective bag, sticking its head out to feed. Bagworm larvae feed up until late August. The mature larva attaches its bag to a branch with a strong band of silk. The larva pupates in the bag. The adult male bagworms emerge in August. The adult males are small, furry gray moths with clear wings. The adult female pupates into a grub-like form and never leaves the bag. She dies in the bag, mummified around the egg mass. Each overwintering bag contains as many as 300 to 1,000 eggs. Winter and early spring are good times to look for bagworm bags. Removing the bags before the end of May can help reduce their summer populations. Look carefully for bags that can be hard to see. Pull the bags off the plants. Crush the bags or place them in the garbage in a sealed trash bag. If bags containing eggs are discarded on the ground, the larvae may still hatch and return to the host plants. Insecticide control must be aimed at young larvae in mid to late June. Feeding by bagworms slows in August, so chemical controls in late summer and fall are not effective. Affected plants must be thoroughly covered with insecticide in June. For more information on bagworms, contact your local extension office.